Hanging in there? I am hanging in there. <laughs> Are we rolling? Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Hey there. People told me I should shave my head. Well, I, I don't you know. Have, should I? You? No. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, I have. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I still got some cling hey, on. Uh, what do you think? What, are you thinking about that? Because I, I think it's a good deal, man. You, you think so? Try it. I think so. Well, for you know, for since I lost my hair, you know, started losing it. People say you should just shave it. You know, why but don't I just, you try that, man? I've never done it. Well, try it. Why not? I won't look like a criminal. I won't look crazy. No, or? I think it'll look good. Okay. Yeah. Just if you if you tell me to, I'll try it. I think you're gonna like it. Okay, I so I can say, I you know, really Jeff Bridges told me to told shave my me head. To do it. Yeah. No, I think you're gonna like it. If, because in this movie, I mean, you the shaving your head and having the beard really gives you that element of being. Are you the villain in the film, or are you just an ambitious wannabe villain? I'm a, another type of good guy, is all. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all perspective, right? There you go. <laughs> I like that. And uh, you're no stranger to special effects. I mm -hmm. mean, you've done movies with special effects. So how have they evolved over oh, the years? Oh, my God. Was huh? it challenging on this film? Was it something different for you? or Special effects are always uh, challenging because you've got to um, supply so much, uh, uh, you know, supply uh, what's not there, you know, with your, using your imagination. And uh, it's getting more and more that way. I mean, now, you know, now uh, is the beginning of a new era where we're making movies without cameras and without costumes and without sets and uh, it's all computer generated stuff and even the camera angles and all of that is done after the fact. You, the actors perform in a room that's all green with tights on, a lot of little sensors all over their bodies and things that well, you don't want to pan up there, but it looks like little lights, hundreds of them all around the room, and that are all capturing your image. And then it, at, the, um, at the days over, then they can imagine where they want the camera and angle. So it's completely a different thing is, is, is going on now. So for an actor, after your career like this, it must be really challenging for you know, you'd be able to walk into a set and really get a mindset of what That's you're supposed right. to do. That's right, yeah, and you don't get to do so. It's, it's not as fun or I guess part of the challenge is to figure out where the fun is in the, in that kind of uh, environment and try to you know be a whole new set of skills that we're gonna have to learn as actors on on how you how you do it and I had to bring in your book ah uh, I have your one from the big Lebowski oh yeah oh I great. have Seabiscuit and now I have oh, the one from Iron Man. Oh, cool. And just explain to our, our viewers here of what uh, your, your photography Yeah. Buff. Yeah, well, my wife gave me this uh, camera called a Wide Lux uh, about 30 years ago on our wedding. And it's a panning still camera. So the lens pans. And have you seen those long pictures in the Civil War or the first time I came uh, across a Wide Lux was uh, from my high school graduation. The they, same they thing. They did one in my junior high. And in the, our last yeah, class, we were in the field. That's right. Don't move. And they yeah. did the camera. And yeah. There was a rumor going around that if you ran around real quick, you could yeah. be in it twice and all that stuff. Or if you moved your head, you'd yeah, be blurred. Yeah, yeah, all of those yeah. things. And so uh, I uh, got one of those cameras and I fell in love with it and started taking pictures. Uh, at work, you know, because I thought it'd be an interesting uh, perspective. You know, it's kind of unusual. Most people don't get to get right in there to see what the making movies is like. And uh, and then I started making these books as a gift for the cast and crew uh, for the movies, and and uh, made one for Iron Man. It's uh, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. I really wasn't going to make a book because I'm not in the movie as as much as other movies I'm, I've been in. Because I didn't have great pictures of Terrence or Gwyneth, but uh, they asked me to make it, so we threw one together for this one. It's wonderful. I love it. Oh, good. Thank uh, you. It's funny. My observation is uh, the scene where you, you catch Gwyneth and she's stealing the files in the office and Tony Stark's, and you're pouring yourself a drink, and the way you hold the glass, it's just because I've seen The Big Lebowski so many times, the way you drink and the way you kind of like take the ice in, it's so dude. <laughs> it is dude. It is dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm watching. I'm like, I'm watching you. Say, you the way you He's swirl dude. it and you hold it. Not like a, a rich executive would drink like Tony Stark uh, does. You hold it from the uh, bottom from the and bottom. You're, doing, uh, you're doing this whole dude. So, you were channeling the dude in that. Or maybe the dude is 
Obadiah. Maybe <laughs> dude was doing the corporate thing. It's been 10 years. I don't know. You know? <laughs> Who knows? Awesome. Twilight Zone. Awesome job. All right. Such Thank a thrill, you. man. Such Thank a thrill. You. Thank you so much.